Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark, the messenger, back in our video. I'm smiling right now because this will be a good one. This will be eye opener. And uh, before I start this video, people would ask me, Mark, clip your microphone to your shirt. But notice if I put my mic here, it's harder for me to hear me. Okay, so I just want to make that very clear. The title of this video, I'm going to put it, Your Spirit Irritates Their Demons. And what do I mean by that? Okay, what spirit am I talking about? When you receive the Holy Spirit, when you become set apart, when God calls you to be a chosen one, okay, the people who are still of this world, the people who are still battling against certain demonic spirits, uh, demonic soul ties they may be battling with, you're now going to be bothering their demons, their spirit. Let's say like you're at the grocery store, right? You're at the grocery store, you're at the gym, uh, you're somewhere out and about, wherever it may be, right? And... You look at someone in their face, they're looking at you at, at, in the face too, right? And you smile at them like, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, like, hey, how you know? Like, you have a soul you, you, and you have good, you have a good spirit, right? And they look at you and they stare at you and they just keep on walking. That is a demon, guys. You are next to a demon. Not to say that a person is a demon, but there's a spirit in him that's causing him not to like you. It's a spirit in people, guys, that are that they belong in the kingdom of darkness. Like I said, guys, it's spiritual warfare. The people who don't, when you're, when you belong to the kingdom of God, and you're, and you're of the light, those people who are in darkness, they're not going to like you. They're not. Something in them is going to bother them. It's going to trigger them. Okay, so always keep that in the back of your mind when people don't like you and you're, you're on the right path, you're on that narrow path, there's a reason behind it. Okay, this is a, a real spiritual world we live in, guys. And, you know, never take it personal when people hate on you, people talk down on you, uh, you know, people don't want to be your friend no more. Okay, even the Bible says that if they hated me, just know that, or sorry, if they hate you, just know they hated me before they hated you. Okay, when you have the Spirit of Christ in you, it's going to bother, you know, these demons. It's going to bother them. And you can't be bothered by that because sometimes you could feel some type of way. And it's okay to feel some type of way because it's like, what the heck? I'm just saying hi. I'm just waving. I'm just trying to say, how's your day is? You know, I'm just trying to smile and put, push out good energy to people, right? But some people, they can't receive it. And good, let, let them not receive it. But don't let it affect your day. Okay, I'm telling you guys, some of these people, like I said, we can't see with a physical eye. And the reason why we can't see it is because Adam and Eve curse. So we can't, you know, only certain people were selected to be able to see. You know, they call it seers, to see, you know, spirits working through people. And I remember back in the days, guys, I used to let that affect me. I'd be walking at, my, uh, at the park doing my basic cardio, and I'd be smiling at someone. And they would be staring at me, and they just wouldn't say, smile back or, you know, say hi back or way back at me. And it would bother me. I would feel like kind of like drained. I would feel drained, guys, after that. And wisdom lets me know, oh, okay, like it's just a demon working through them. And your spirit, the Holy Spirit in you, it bothers them. It bothers, you know, the demons in them. So always keep that in the back of your mind. We don't battle against flesh and blood. We battle against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places, okay? And when you have, when you're in your household, right? Like I told you guys, like the Bible says, a man's enemies will be in his own household, so when you're in your house and you have certain family members, because this goes deep, it's not just the outside, it's not just like strangers on the street, strangers on the outside, it could be your own family members. And you wonder why your own brother, your own sister, and it's unfortunate, but it could even be your own mother, your own uh, father, okay, your own dad, that doesn't, you know, that's, you know, for whatever reason, it, it just bothers them. You know, your presence, your spirit, the Holy Spirit, it bothers the spirits that are in them. And guys, never... Whenever you see your parents in bondage, we should be praying for people. Us as Christians, we have the spirit of love in us. So we don't condemn people. When we see people battling against these spirits, we're not going to call them demons, especially our parents. Okay, especially for our parents, we're not going to call them, you know, evil people. That's your parents, man. The Bible says to, um, you know, honor your father and mother. That's a commandment from God. Never change. You know, don't believe people telling you that we don't have to keep no commandments. Okay, we're supposed to honor our father and mother. So if we see them battling demonic spirits, okay, we, we should be praying for them. We're of the light. Okay, us people who are chosen, we're of the light. So we ha we got to have love, bear love for one another. And like I said, guys, these spirits could, it, the, the Holy Spirit in you could bother your own mom, <laughs> your own dad, your own wife, your own husband. Okay, it just bothers them. And see, they don't want to. They won't even know why they feel bothered. They don't even know why. Whenever they see you reading your Bible, whenever they see you in prayer, whenever they see you, you know, just doing something that's, you know, that's building up your spirit, it's gonna bother that demon inside them. And that demon in them, it causes them to hate on you. It causes them, you know, to to, to maybe even attack you. Okay, when I say attack you, it's not. Always, it could be physically, but also it could be, you know, verbally. It could be emotionally to drain you spiritually. 
So that's why I said, guys, if we don't battle against flesh and blood, and you should never take it personal because once you have wisdom, once you have inherited wisdom from God, inherited understanding from God, you understand that, okay, it's not you attacking me. It's just a spirit using you or, you know, using them to attack you. And like I said, guys, unfortunately, it could be your own parents. It could be those who are your own household. It could be your own children, too. Children could turn against you, too. Okay, and this is why it's important, especially for all you uh, parents, to be, you know, trained up your children when they're young. So when they grow older, they won't depart from it. You know, teach your children the Bible. Have Bible studies with your family. Um, you know, you know, plant seeds in their mind at a young age. Because when they grow older, let's say if they ever backslide, whatever happens in their life, they'll never depart from the faith because they were taught at a young at a young age. Nowadays, you have uh, the teach the school system teaching these children to be LG, you know, and all that. So they're teaching them to be evil. They're teaching the children to be, become evil. Now, when we get to the um, the, the more to the end days, you know, this could be a, a true evil generation because they were taught that as a young child. So it's more important, more than ever, guys, to be teaching, you know, of course, not just only children, but people in general, the word of God, the way to salvation through Jesus Christ, because it's a real battle out here. And these spirits are working through your loved ones. That's how deceiving it is. They're working through your loved ones. They're working through people you would never expect. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, it could be a stranger. And I noticed it being an outside force. But no, it could also be in your own household. Okay, that's why we, as I said, we must have a strong prayer life. They call it prayer warriors. Now, the spiritual warriors, you know, the warriors of Christ. But prayer warriors too, man. That's what a lot of you guys are called to be too. Okay, start praying for your family. Uh, and understand that don't be mad at them, guys. Just like... And we got to understand this too. Even the Bible says, I'll leave a verse right here. We were once sometimes foolish. We were once sometimes disobedient. We were once serving many lusts, etc., etc. Okay. So understand that just because they're in that state, you were in that state too. Be humble and see if you don't, if you don't humble yourself, God will humble you and see, I would rather me humble myself than God humbles me. Cause when God humbles you, it's destruction. Okay. Pride goes before destruction and an arrogant spirit before a fall. Okay. So humble yourself. Don't talk down on these people. Don't look down on these people because you understand you were once fooled too. Okay. And now you, you have been called first. Okay. The first will be last and the last will be first. Okay. So always have love and compassion for these people. And that's what, like I said, as a Christian, I know they're using this word love, you know, to justify sin, to, to, you know, to go against God, but it's truly having love for each other, having love for your people, especially your own people who bury you. Okay. Who bury you as, um, you know, your own father and mother. Cause I noticed that in my walk, it was using the people who I would never expect. And that hurts me because see, Satan knows the people who, who have a special place in your heart. If he could use those people, oh, he got you. Cause those are the people who are going to break your heart, your own boyfriend, your own wife, your own husband, a girlfriend. If you use the people who you love the most, he, Satan, Satan's smart. He's a tricky snake. You know, that's why the Bible says be wise as a serpent and be harmless as a doe. The devil knows who's gonna, who he could use to hurt you. Okay, the, a random stranger, somebody you never talked to, somebody you never built it with, it's not going to really affect you. But the people who have a, a special place in your heart, Satan's going to use these type of people. So always understand this, guys. Your spirit, the Holy Spirit, it bothers their demons, okay? It bothers the demons inside of them. And see, like I said, guys, some people, they think they have the Holy Spirit, but it's just a religious spirit. They're deceived too, okay? Some people, let me repeat this. Some people think they have the Holy Spirit, but it's just a religious spirit. Okay, they don't have the spirit and truth in them. And see, the, that could, you know, the spirit, uh, the religious spirit is linked to the spirit of error. So they could be used too. And they have no idea. So that's why guys walk in the light, have the full armor of God on daily. Because we don't battle against flesh and blood. These demons are using people we love the most. They're using even people who profess to be Christians, profess to be of the body of Christ. It's a huge deception, guys. So pray for discernment, pray for wisdom, and pray for understanding. I love you guys so much. If you have already, make sure you guys smash the like button, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.